Hi guys, I'm Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. Today I'm taking a look at Ample Sound's Ample Bass P Light 2 and asking the question, if you've already got one of these, why would you want it? So before we jump in and take a look at the plugin, I just want to share with you my experiences. And I must say this plugin has become very much um, one which I go and grab um, on a regular basis. And that's really surprised me because I really enjoy recording with bass guitar. But this has really increased my workflow, particularly working in stock music when I've got to be creative and edit on the fly when I'm working with compositions. This plugin is super useful. We're working in MIDI, so it means we can change the bass lines whenever we want. We can even change the keys and we can, uh, the whole bass line is very pliable at any stage throughout the creative process. And that's a really big plus. Another really big plus is of course, we don't have to change the strings. And you'll know if you want that zippy, fresh Fender Precision sound on your bass, you're gonna want relatively new strings to get that certain tone. That's not the case with this plugin. And indeed, it's a very, very reliable tone. It's gonna be the same tone every time. Now, if you used to mixing in a home studio, you're gonna know the bass is the hard area to work in. So if you've got a very consistent tone from your bass, like you will from this plugin, that's another big plus. Worth saying also, this plugin sounds great. It does sound like a Fender Precision bass every single time. And for that, uh, it's super, super useful. But as you can tell, I really do like this plugin. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so here we are having a look at uh, Ample Sounds, Ample Bass P Light 2. Um, and it's a really nice interface and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty thing to look at because it's a copy of a Fender Precision Bass. You can have a play around with the tuning directly onto the tuning pegs, which is really cool. Um, the volume switch remains as the volume knob, um, but the tone knob has been replaced by a slap volume ratio function. Um, then lower down we've got four different settings along here which um, can help you, aid you, get a more realistic uh, sound of your bass. Um, you can flick between whether you want to be able to play chords on the bass or if you want, um, say, a solo string, one string at a time only. Um, sound, you can also dial in whether your strings are going to be playing um, hammer-ons and pull-offs or not. So, for example... That's just the normal string sounds, but if we want to engage hammer-ons and pull-offs, you can hear that they've now been engaged. It's pretty clever stuff, and it all adds to the realism of the bass sound. On the right-hand side here as well, on the keys which aren't used because they're not on the, um, on the frequency spectrum of the bass, you've also got some really usable little effects. Let's into the bass. You know, all stuff which can help to make your recording sound uh, more convincing and more realistic. So if we move down now onto some of the functions um, on above the keys here, small things again which you can help to dial in to get more of a realistic sound, things like fret buzz um, and neck noise and uh, general buzzes and pops which you might get. Um, from uh, a real bass guitar and you can dial those in with these uh, sliders and gain knobs. Uh, on the left hand side here of the keys you've also got pop slap um, um, and uh, palm mute um, which you can uh, dial in as well. Um, you've also got a very comprehensive uh, edit section and you've got a very comprehensive uh, uh, settings section also which you can tweak and play around with to your heart's content Ultimately, for me, though, it just comes down to it sounding like a great plugin, which it is. It sounds like a P bass. You can very quickly get the tone you want and get going. It also has this really handy little uh, um, tab section, which I believe you can import um, tab into as well. You can have a little listen to that now. Let's have a listen to the P bass with some drums.
So yeah, Ample Sounds, in my opinion, have come up with a really very usable, great sounding plugin here. If you don't have a bass guitar, what a great way to get really good quality bass sounds onto your recording. And if you do have a bass guitar like me, also what a great way to increase your workflow and get really reliable sounds and recordings from your bass. My name's Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. If you enjoyed this video today, please do remember to like, subscribe, most importantly, have yourself a great day.